This topic is on chronic management of asthma in children, and it follows the NICE guidelines 2020. This video is continuation of chronic management of asthma in adults. Please watch that video to find out more about drug classes used in asthma. Diagnosis and management of asthma in children should be split according to the age group, under 5 years old and between 5 and 16 years old. Diagnosing asthma under 5 years old can be quite tricky as pediatric patients in that age group might not be able to follow instructions of objective tests like spirometry to adequately show true results. So diagnosis of asthma under 5 years old is mainly a clinical judgement. When a patient is between 5 to 16 years old, take a thorough history and examination. NICE guidelines recommends two objective tests to diagnose asthma in this age group, spirometry and bronchial dilator reversibility test. If a child is unable to perform these objective tests after the age of 5, continue treating based on clinical judgement and try doing this test again every 6 to 12 months until satisfactory results are obtained. Consider referring to the specialist if the child is unable to perform these tests repeatedly and are not responding to the treatment. Similar to adults, management of asthma in children can be categorized into lifestyle and pharmacological treatments. Aim to identify and avoid triggers. Check inhaler techniques and adherence and consider using a spacer or nebulized therapies for this age group. Management of chronic asthma can be split according to their age. For patients under 5 years old, the first step would be the commencement of a SABA. Consider an 8-week trial of pediatric moderate dose of inhaled corticosteroids for children under the age of 5 who have asthma-related symptoms for more than 3 times a week or waking up at night, or the failure of step 1. After 8 weeks, Stop ICS treatment and monitor the child's symptoms. Start pediatric low-dose ICS if symptoms have resolved, then reoccurred within 4 weeks of stopping ICS. Step 3 adds a leukotriene receptor antagonist on top of SABA and pediatric low-dose ICS. Refer the child to the specialist if their asthma is still uncontrolled. Remember to always check adherence and inhaler techniques before escalating to the next step. For patients between the age of 5 and 16, Step 1 is the introduction of short-acting beta-2 agonist. Step 2 adds a low dose of inhaled corticosteroids on top of salbutamol. According to NICE guidelines, start straight at Step 2 if the patient has asthma symptoms 3 times a week or more, or are woken up at night by asthma symptoms once weekly or more. Step 3 involves adding a leukotriene receptor antagonist, such as Montelukast. If the patient's asthma symptoms are still not well controlled, the next step would be adding a long-acting beta-2 agonist, such as Salmeterol. You can continue or discontinue LTRAs, depending on its effectiveness. Step 5 would be swapping out the low-dose inhaled corticosteroids and the long-acting beta-2 agonist for the MART regime. The MART regime stands for Maintenance and Reliever Therapy, and the patient will use it as a prevention therapy and during acute attacks as well. The regime in Step 5 contains a low-dose inhaled corticosteroid and a fast-acting, long-acting beta-2 agonist, such as formoterol. Step 6 would be to increase the MUD regime's inhaled corticosteroids dose to a moderate dose, or you can replace the MUD regime into individual inhalers of moderate ICS and LABA. If the asthma is still uncontrolled after this step, refer the patient to the specialists. As mentioned, the doses of ICS in pediatric patients are different from that of adults. A low-dose ICS in pediatric patients refers to doses of less than 200 micrograms. Moderate doses are between 200 and 400 micrograms. 
and anything above 400 micrograms refers to a high dose. Do note that prolonged high doses of ICS can cause systemic side effects and growth suppression in children. With regards to monitoring and review, consider reducing maintenance therapy when asthma is well controlled for more than three months. NICE guidelines also recommends an annual review of asthma and mentions using the RCP3 questionnaire. These questions include asking the patient if, number one, if they have had any symptoms, number two, if these symptoms interferes with their quality of life, and number three, if they have had any problems sleeping because of their symptoms. Management of asthma can be rather confusing. Just know that essentially, the management of asthma for children between 5 and 16 years old is similar to that of adults. Diagnosis of asthma in children under 5 years old is mainly clinical and management of these patients are different too. Remember to monitor and review these patients and always think about the side effects of prolonged high doses of steroids on children. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more videos.